But good morning, guys. Starting some more. I play through of Shout out to Tomb Raider. Should be fun. Lots of deaths, probably. Aw, uh, good morning, Evie. You're waiting for me? Aw, you're so sweet. How you doing, lovely? Fun story, right? Zombie, uh... Meant to start stream earlier, but I forgot to push go in live, apparently. <laughs> I was sitting there. I was looking at, like, the little Twitch dashboard. I'm like, why is it not, like, showing all the stuff available? And then I realized that I forgot to hit start stream. That's the kind of quality, like, amazingness you can expect here from me. Right? Me forgetting to push start stream. Totally a pro. Totally a pro. Play some today and mostly dying. Yeah. That game looks interesting. I'm pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I actually have a PlayStation sale on right now, but I didn't see Plague. I just looked a second ago. They, I don't know if it's a... It's kind of a weird sale. Like, it says it's on sale, but a lot of the stuff is full price. So I don't think... I don't know what's going on with the sale. It's weird. I can't really figure out what's on sale and what's not. Five minutes sounds good. I got I finally got my coffee. It's kind of gross today though. It's... You get some like nice fancy coffee. Oh man, I should have saved it because I don't know where we're at. I don't know where to put us at. I thought it would like stop us like earlier from the other spot, but it put us somewhere else. So now I don't know where we're at or what we were doing. Oh, we came in here, right? We came in here, we saw this. Okay. So I don't know which way we're supposed to go from here. Hopefully this is the right way. I'm not sure. I should have like stopped at a campfire and saved it. That's what I tried to do, but I was playing a little bit longer yesterday than I planned. There's something on the other side. So this is the right way. Okay, we do go the right way. I don't think we got the Explorer backpack on this side of the map, but I'm not really sure where it would be. I'll probably find it pretty soon. It's making it a little bit harder to find stuff. I feel like that's the only thing I'd really need to Google is the Explorer backpack and maybe the the other one. Be careful, I'm not too far off, lady. the clays and metals of the afterlife suitable to her craft. Ugh, the coffee. Need more coffee creamer. Can I wonder what like rich fancy coffee tastes like? You just only drink like, cheap coffee. Which is okay, I guess. The pitch. Lots of coffee creamer. Your scar your way united the two sides, ending the war. However, their blood still boiled. In order to placate the soldiers, someone must be punished. Yahweh rounded up the merchants believed to be responsible for the conflict and sacrificed them. Rip those guys.
we go in the water? This won't be easy. Language, Laura. This is a family stream, right? Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Well, we found our Trev, the, that one, but we didn't find. We didn't find the other one. Why wouldn't you take this dagger here? Kind of cool. I would take that dagger. Sleep. He says for a while. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Hope this is worth the trouble. Rides belt, stir health regeneration, and some money. I was actually kind of shorter than I expected. I don't know if there's like. Time to get out of here. Make sure we didn't miss anything back here, but I don't really see where we would have. We got the map down there. I don't see anything else around here. It's not sure where the survival the floor map is. Welcome back. How do you take your coffee? Anything in it or black? Black is good. I've never had good coffee. Dark as night. Ugh. No. Dark is my soul, right? That's what the dramatic people say. <laughs> Dark is my soul, it is. <laughs> no sugar. I use creamer. Like right now, I'm using a uh, cinnamon roll. <laughs> like so, my coffee tastes like a cinnamon roll. Really good. Really good. Zombie's a puss puss and doesn't drink black coffee. Another tomb down. Not too bad. Oh, hey, we got all the high dives done too now. It's busy. We already went through this tomb, right? Yeah. Kabari. Sugar. Because you're already so sweet. Is that it?
the nines. Not pulling back. At times. Can't we all, right? Can't we all? Oh, we're full too. I killed that thing for nothing. Zombie's a monster. I think we're done too with everything. Like everything's completed basically. Except for like stuff like this, which we need gears. All that stuff we're done with though. Okay, what's the next guys? I think we need some more tombs here, don't we? We need two more. Is this all connected though, the hidden city? It is. Well this stuff could be anywhere. Like, I don't know how you get to this place over here. I don't know how you get to that spot. I've been able to find. This place is huge. I think even like having like a decent map is still hard to find everything. I just like where he is hiding now. Oh, that's annoying. I know it's same with the merchant, that dang merchant, man. If you don't buy everything from her before she leaves, it's a pain to find her again. A giant pain to find her. <clears throat> Which I think there's got spots that could spawn. I mean. <coughs> Some quests are just so annoying to do. This place is so big too. I mean, it's like literally, this is such a huge area. I kind of wish they would have broke it off into pieces, even if it was like, like half the town or something, just to make it a bit easier to keep track of everything. Because this one, it, it is. It's a lot of wandering around and just hoping for the best. And all this stuff, you kind of got to go in really convoluted. Like even with like the stuff on your map, it's kind of hard to figure out which way we're supposed to go here. Like these ones, I don't know how to get these ones either. I mean a witch? You're a witch prick. <laughs> Your mama's a witch. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Gotta love the NPCs in this game. Yeah, I don't know how you get these, the murals here. All this stuff I don't know how to get. It's really annoying because a lot of it is, it's, it's like you have to go to like a weird route to get to it and trying to like figure out where that weird route starts. Even with knowing where the location's at, it's kind of a pain. Cause I know it's like this way. Somehow it's like up there. Oh, 
Wait, is it this way? Did we figure it out? Is zombie smart? Zombie very smart. Powerful of that. A little basic air everything at this point. Sell some more, go sell some more stuff, I guess. The Aztec used these to burn incense so they could communicate with the gods. Still smells of copal. I never found that spot. You didn't? I thought you said you completed everything but the quest, right? That helps a lot, I tell you. If you click on the things, like it tells, it helps a lot because you have a general idea of where it is. If it's above you or below you, so a lot of times you can like kind of like figure out. You can figure out, you know, at least where to look. It makes a huge difference. This mountain is hidden behind thick clouds. I can't be sure what these two smaller hills on either side of the mountain are supposed to represent. We found that without Googling, because we're a pro. Much for this game to render in. Okay, so we got another place done here. Got this mural. Taking notes, all of my good finder skills. Oh, you're a witch. I don't know how we missed this one. She wants to walk right past it. The protectors failed and are now doomed to recover what they lost. And honestly, Googling a lot of stuff makes it more difficult a lot of times. Honestly. There's still a way to get up to that path that I don't know how to. I don't know how to get up to that one. Did you climb by that cape? I'm really stuck, yeah. And guys are confusing as hell. I'm by the cave. <laughs> Don't see some of these places. I think it's really dark right now. It makes it hard to see those climbable rocks. You know, makes it tough. I've, I've been up here before, apparently. Also, I've already done this. I just somehow missed this thing over on this side. Okay, we've already been up here. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. That's one way to get down here. <laughs> Splat. This staff has a jewelry rigged flintlock mechanism similar to those from European firearms. The cultist priests must have used this during their ceremonies to all the crowds. So we got like this stuff over here left. What's up, booby? What's up, pups? Oh, you a booby? Challenge tomb nearby. How 
are you, lovely purposes? I should probably went and sold stuff before we done more tombs, but it's fine, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. About what they say, I'm gonna come at you like a boomerang. Boomerang. I'm decent. Sure, mate. We appreciate that help, Evie. As I said, apparently we went that way earlier because we had that one thing done. I just didn't have the, uh... I think we're gonna teleport out of here. We're at the Temple Path. I think we're gonna go back over here. Go over here and sell some stuff before we go any farther. We'll sell some stuff before we go any farther. Look, everybody gets more excited every time they see purple. Like, it starts out with, like, one exclamation point, and then they talk to her for a while, and then it turns into, like, multiple exclamation points. Even though Perps calls her evil. Morning, evil. Put it in my coffee. Aw. That is not an L. Leader. She drinks her coffee black perp, so it doesn't take much. It's gonna be the killjoy, right? Bruzy <sighs> P. We need a big host. That's what we need, right, guys? I need somebody to host me with like a hundred people. Just so Zombie can get his average up and do this one sponsorship he was looking at. Just gotta figure out how, right? Need a nice big I'm host just to you. push my average up a bit. <laughs> what we need. That'll be like 10 people, yeah. I need to get my viewer average above 10. I was trying to figure out how to do it. I think right now it's only like six people. Which I'm trying to figure out like how to like get it up a little bit more. A little bit more. So we can do some of these other sponsorships. Hi there. Welcome. Ah, she's got a rucksack. Or my rucksack. <laughs> Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Very good. Here you go. I will just sell all the per these ones, right? We don't even really use them, but I guess I guess. Very good. The gods favor us both. Very good. The gods favor us both. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Very good. It's 8.4, yeah. Mine's been really low lately. The gods favor us both. I don't know. We'll just blame it on Obama. Dang it, Obama. This dark poison is worth a lot, Here man. Very good. We have Epic, yeah. I wouldn't want to play on Epic. I know it's kind of like I was looking, like we were, we were, I was thinking about playing like Days Gone on Epic one day, and I was looking, and 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 the and the and the things that they, the the, the so-called challenges are just stupid. Here you go. <laughs> they add to it. Like, one of the biggest challenges that they added in that one Come back soon. was no fast travel. And I'm like, no fast travel? Like, of all the things to, like, remove, why would you remove fast travel? Hi, hello. I have much to trade. Like, come on, game. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. 
It's kind of stupid, yeah. I'm always ready to trade. That was one of my biggest problems with um, Red Dead Redemption, though. Red Dead Redemption didn't have true fast travel. That was crap was so annoying. Like, one day I was, like, riding my horse, and people were like, Oh, zombie, you could just use the cinematic mode and mark a place, and it would go to it perfectly. And I was, like, on a stagecoach, and literally, like, that stupid, like, mode threw me into a dang river and killed my horses when I wasn't paying attention. Like, I looked away... And that stupid thing, like, just yeeted my horses right into the water. How about being annoyed? Yeah. Like, it literally, like, it just ran them right into a river. Killed them all. Killed all them horses. You didn't play Red Dead very long, though, did you? How long did you play Red Dead? Never happened to me? I don't know. You didn't play it very long, then, did you? There's no way. Played maybe five hours? Yeah, that's why. Like, it happens quite a bit, especially if you use that cinematic mode. It, it also happens, like, when I'm doing it, and it, it'll just, like, randomly run into another person that happens to be on the road. Like a head on horse collision because of that game. It's one of those things that doesn't happen all the time, but it happens often enough. That it makes it kind of useless to use because then it like screws you up. Because like sometimes I would like to just like go like grab something to eat, but I, but I would just like to like run it so we can just run there. But you have to sit and watch it because if you don't, that's something stupid. <laughs> what time do you stream, Evie? What's your schedule? That's what Perps was asking. I don't know if you saw it. I'll repeat it just for Perps because special. Especially purposes. Each taka of the cult of Kukulkan vows to tie his coat to that of Five Uchi, hours. descendant of the Maya. Lacking any family of his own, each taka will live with the parents of you two until such time that they have built their own home and hearth. You two vows to tie Turning her coat which they were raised according to the traditions of both their peoples. Okay. We got one XP for getting that. <laughs> GG. GG, that one XP. We leave the city at first light, which is just as well, for a terrible disease has spread across it. Dead and dying line the paths and choke the streams. Many are saying it is punishment from the gods. Journal of Adelantado Perez. It's you know it's kind of interesting because like I have a lot of mental illness too, like a lot. <laughs> you want to compare mental illnesses? That's a joke, but not very funny. But it's fine. Purpose you're supposed to stop me from talking. But uh, streaming is like one of the one things that I've always had drive to do most of the time. There's been a few times where like the numbers have been a little bit lower. And stuff it makes it a bit tougher but like in general like streaming is one of the few things i've always been able to do Twenty-fourth of November, no matter what right i accompanied andreas lopez kind of weird to me. a group of 12 soldiers and two molosses through the jungle the directions the jesuits provided to trinity were excellent so we discovered the hidden city with you could if you wanted to the natives of the city welcomed us warily, but we plied them with gifts, and they reluctantly allowed us to enter the city, unaware of our true intentions. Lopez has begun to search for the artifact while we distract. Yeah, that's one thing. Like I don't know, streaming is just one of those weird things that I can usually, I can usually do. It's a friend of a believe that it might actually be a oh, effect. Yeah, I don't know what I have, personally. I mean, I could probably give you me a, a guess of some of the stuff I have, but I'm, I never get, I never got tested for that. Other than clinical depression and anxiety and some attachment problems. Stuff like that. There's some other stuff that I probably have that I never, I just gave up on getting tested for. Because we do great, right, perps? Who needs? Doctor's opinion. Personalities, by the way, yeah. 
I know there's a bunch of differences, and even like it, in a lot of them, there's a lot of subcategories. So yeah, there's a lot of subcategories in each of them. That's one of those things, yeah. For me here, there is perfect. Just say yes. You're doing amazing. Like there's only no safe answer if your answer is negative, perps. Where are we going? I'm confused. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go. How's that? Yay! Most of the time. That sounds like most people do. Most of the time we're good. Sometimes we're not good, right? Can't tell which way I go in this camera angle. So like poor. If I had to guess, it would be to the left. But okay, to the right. See how easy that was, perks. Very PC answer work. That must be the temple I saw from the riverbanks. Uh, yeah. See, that's my problem. Mine never goes away. I think the only way mine would ever go away is if I take pills, and I have not much into taking that kind of stuff. Rip, indeed. We've died a lot, man. Most of our deaths have been that. Just not figuring, can't figure out exactly. I've always had that stuff though, clinical depression. You guys want to know something fun is like having clinical depression as a kid, right? Having clinical depression when you're like four or five years old. Very interesting thing, I tell you. Very. Right? Or the worst, yeah. That was it, yeah. I've always had mine. Always, as long as I can remember. Sucks a lot. Especially like if you don't get help for it. I never got help for it when I was younger. I mean, I got some help, but not. They never really knew what I was wrong with me. So. That must be the temple I saw from the riverbanks. Not sure where we're supposed to go from here. We go up. Yeah. Yeah, mine was bad enough, like, when I was first starting school, like, I wouldn't even speak, man. <laughs> I wouldn't even speak. Had a bit of mutism going on for a little while. And kind of fun fact, if you don't talk and stuff, people just assume you're stupid. It's a very fun feeling. A little? Yeah, I saw that, but I, I guess I didn't push X enough. kind of funny because a lot of people have triggers right but a lot of mine I've kind of lost like I used to get really mad when people would call me stupid but I don't get as mad about that anymore I think a lot of stuff you just got eventually just kind of get over you gotta jump This camera angle's so bad though, it's hard to see what's going on. So bad. Get all stuff. I keep talking on the phone though. Oh yeah. For me, I think one of the reasons that we talk about this stuff in stream, even though it's pretty serious, people are like, oh it's so serious, why are we talking about this? But I think a lot of times it's just kind of nice to let other people know they're not alone in it, right? A lot of people feel very alone in their whatevers. But to me, it's like, it's it's kind of nice, right? You, 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 you get somebody to listen, maybe to understand you a bit, even if it's not perfect, you know? Nice. More cheery topic? Uh, I think Perps has been asking everybody if they could only watch five movies their entire life. What movie would you... Would you pick? 
I all, I can never answer those questions. My brain just like completely forgets every movie I've ever heard of. <laughs> Bats and Hoon were twin brothers, older half siblings of the more celebrated Maya hero twins. Jealous of their brothers, the monkey twins would always cheat during football matches and ruin them with their aggressive tactics. In retaliation, the hero twins lured them up a tree, a tree which never stopped growing, preventing Hoon Bats and Hoon Chowan from getting down. The hero twins convinced them that they could use their belts to climb down, but this turned out to be another trick, and the belts became tails, turning the elder twins into monkeys. Well, like you guys cheated that to football, I'm gonna turn you into monkeys. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds like something my kids would do, right? <laughs> turn them into monkeys. It doesn't buzz in here, but I think it's on the other side of this wall. Hello with something. I've reached a point where I'll never have to just set this part of my life and just move on. Well, yeah, but that's not the best way to live, right? Because a lot of that stuff is funny. Even if you think you're over it and stuff, it, it pops in in different ways later on. That's what I've learned. It's better to kind of just, like, have somebody listen to you. I don't know. Mirror one to the left. Follow the beam of light to mirror two. Direct mirror two across a chamber diagonally. Return to mirror one. These seem to be instructions of some kind, but I can't make out. Yeah, lighting in this game. I guess it makes sense, though. <laughs> right? It makes sense. The lighting in this game should be kind of bad because, I mean, I guess it's more realistic. More realistic? Because, I mean, uh, if you were really here, it would be so dark, you I wouldn't be able to see much. At the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. I think that's the thing though, like, I know people say they can't change the world because they're just one person, but it's kind of funny, like, something simple as like smiling at somebody or like making their day better, I mean, maybe they'll go on to do something crazy, so even if you don't, you know, you pass that goodwill out there, supposedly, it'll kind of like move on. No. Kind of thing. So just because you don't think you will, but I mean, little things do change stuff. Play it, the brightness way up, yeah. Yep. I think a lot of people are always kind of, I mean, it's kind of interesting sometimes of all the little things you can change. Like that's the only thing you can do in life. Everybody searches for meaning in life. A lot of times it's just finding something that makes you happy, right? Make you happy. And just, yeah. We're still being serious. What happened? I blame perps. Perps, why are you letting us be so serious? Turn the brightness way up. Only that's the cheating. Only the call upon a king Jahal. Use his light to chase the shadows from your hearts and the city itself. Talking about the game. Uh, philosophical debate discussion. Perhaps I did it. I read it. Are you proud of me yet? It is interesting. <clears throat> we talk about brightness in a game. I, I watch this uh, one streamer sometimes. <coughs> And he uses filters to make his game brighter because, you know, for his stream, the game looks even darker than it is, right? It's because of how the game's set up, and he uses filters. And man, he, like, overuses filters. Like, that crab looks so oversaturated. Like, it is so Amazing. bright. It looks really bad. This must be where they perform rituals honoring the sun. He would, like, never want to fix it. No, perhaps you can't go. Each with a different marking. They're numbered. Yeah. <sighs> 
And I didn't quite understand what to do here. I'll need to go through the central pavilion to reach the altar. I think they said move this one to the left, right? Is this the first mirror? I think it's the first one. Move it to the left. I'm guessing here. I said move this one to the left. I don't think it does anything to these other ones. Move it to the left. I'll need to go through the central pavilion to reach the altar. Yeah, have a good day, perps. Thanks for stopping by. Some of these puzzles are way confusing. They get more and more confusing when <laughs> times come on, go on. But this one they said put to the left, so... Four mirrors, each with a different marking. They're numbered. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Like... <sighs> so annoying. I haven't been keeping track of this very well. At least for spins. So I think we'll just... I don't know, figure it out later. Four mirrors, each with a different marking. They're numbered. This is mirror one. Oh, I'll need to go through the central pavilion to reach oh, the Oh, I didn't move it far enough. Oh, okay. Should have known. I know they said move it to the left on that one thing. I think it, you said move it to the left and then... It won't last long if I fall in the water. Then it said, this go back. Two. Need to create a path to mirror three. Yeah. I wish I said you could look at the clues a bit easier, because now I can't go back and look at the clue. Because it did give us a clue earlier, but like trying to figure out where it's at. It's kind of impossible now. I don't, they've done such a bad job on this. I'm trying to remember what they said about the next clue. Got no help in the clue. Well, it's somewhat of a clue. Like this one, they said you go, you you, you move that one, and then you go back and you move one again. I should have wrote the clue down is what I should have done. Path to mirror three. But it's like a light clue, right? The rest you're supposed to just figure out yourself. Need to create a path to mirror three. Uh, yeah, I think we can't do this way yet. Let's go back then. That's kind of annoying. I really don't like that it gets stuck too when you get close to something. It gets stuck when you have to. Can I move this one over there? There we go. That one. And then move this one again. Okay. We'll get it, Evie. Don't you worry. We're a smarty pants. This one ain't too, too bad, honestly. At least so far. Once you get the general idea of what to move, at least. Me 
need to create a path to mirror three. Mirror three. Wait, why did why did she jump that way? I think we went up there. I don't think so. I think we could just drop down. Need to create a path to mirror one. to create a path to mirror two. I don't know how you get back now. <laughs> I don't think need to create a path to mirror two. I think we can go this way. Yeah, I saw it. This is a lot of guessing, I guess. At least you're really good at, like, figuring stuff out. That won't help us because we need to do this one to get back over this way. I think honestly we need to move that one to that one way over there, right? So we need to move this one all the way around. I think to hit this one here. And then we can go back over here and hit that other one on the other side there. I like puzzle like this, it's kinda of fun. Ones, it's not too can freaking confusing. There we go, we'll move that one, and then we can go back over here. We're getting there guys. I like this puzzle. Yeah, this one's fun. Some of the other ones are not fun, like at all. Which I guess it's just the type of person you are. This one's kind of interesting. It's kind of a one mirror left to move. Could be kind of frustrating, I guess, but not in a bad way. The divine canoe, which carries Maya souls through the underworld and into the sky, is directed by two gods. Old Stingray Paddler sits in the back of the canoe and handles the duties during the day, while Old Jaguar Paddler sits in the front and takes care of the night shift. These two gods symbolize not only light and darkness, day and night, but also the interdependence of all equal and opposite forces. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. We'll get in there. One mirror left to move. I really don't like how close together all this stuff is, though. It makes it kind of hard to see. That's a challenge. This is a mural. I try to find my way out. Yeah, sounds about normal <laughs> with these two. With these. Only one mirror left to move. Sounds about right. Dang puzzles. There's usually some easy way to get out, but I think that's kind of changed a bit. It's not as easy as it used to be. This must be mirror four. Only one mirror left to move. I think we might have got everything in this one now. I think it's the last thing we needed in this area. Was a very important god to the Maya. He well, taught them you know. farming secrets and oversaw yeah. growing in the harvest. Generally, he was associated with all forms of fertility. He was also in charge of wind, lightning, and rain, which was caused by his tears. He was in charge of preserving springs, wells, streams, cenotes, and other sources of water. Like the aspects over which he presided, he was considered benevolent and caring, but unpredictable. Physically, Shark was depicted as a reptile with hair tangled and unruly knots, and his colors were white, red, yellow, and black, representing north, east, south, You and also west. missed it? The way out? I'd say so, because usually you accidentally find the, the way out when you're going in and she tells you that it's the way out. If I didn't touch it, I can get to the altar now. <laughs> Keep on forgetting some of these you don't have to jump on. Now. That wasn't hard at all, really. At least not for me. I tell you, if you do listen to that clue, the clue does help you. M more of just like letting you know that you have to backtrack back and forth, I think is the, probably the biggest thing that clue helps you with. Just giving you the idea that you have to backtrack. This is the amount of natural crafting resources gathered. For See, that's so useless. Sadly, <laughs> the crafting thing. There was a corridor near Mirror Four. At least she tells you right there near Mirror Four. Which one's Mirror Four? This one. Totally useless. What's well, useless? The clue? Clue ain't useless. Psh. Gotta use your brain, right? You gotta use your brain, right? There was a corridor near Mirror Four. See, we found it. That wasn't hard. Laura's actually helping us for once. She actually gave us some good tips <laughs> that actually worked for once. Dang, Laura. You get on the ball, guys. The skill, yeah. They just give you too much stuff. Maybe on harder difficulties, like you said. I think I'm just playing like on normal or hard. I'm on normal or hard, but there's like survival and whatever. Maybe would make enough dance.
listen to Laura's clues is cheating. It's not even really listening. Like, how do you tone her out, right? <laughs> Just turn. Right? You give me tips. See, that's more cheating. How you doing today, Raz? That was our favorite butt cheek. Not surprised. It's a game mechanic, right? It's not cheating. Speaking of Raz, right? I, I was watching somebody uh, play the new DBD killer. And that DBD killer actually looks like a lot of fun. At least for a little while. But it actually looks like a lot of fun. I don't know for how long. Whoa! I thought she was going to die there. Wait, there's another tomb by? Should have already had this tomb done, right? I don't know why it's telling me there's another tomb available. And it didn't also didn't like count toward my progress of finishing this tomb. That's kind of annoying. I like it. I'm gonna use her instincts as often. You should. <sighs> Maybe that's why you get stuck more than me, right? I can't help but pushing it. It's my problem. Like, if I didn't push it, I would feel like something's missing. It's a big issue. You have to push it. You have to push the button. This hitbox is too narrow? Yeah. I mean, it'd probably be a pain on console. But, like, watching him on PC it looks fun. A lot of stuff is not as fun on console, but I feel like on PC it'd be fine. I think the problem with DBD though is they never know how to like, they never know how to balance killers or survivors. They kind of they just throw crap at the wall and see what sticks, very much so. <laughs> but it does make it kind of tough a lot of times to like... I feel like that is one of their biggest issues in DVD. It's like they, they, they try to balance them and just balance them really weird. Can we do this one yet? This game would be a lot harder without instincts, I imagine. I think like that other difficult. That one does turn it off. Here and there. Seven birds. One escaped to the trees with his treasure. Dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you. That doesn't sound like a very good clue. Why do American streamers never stream in 1080p? Uh, do you want an honest answer? Why Americans don't do it? I don't know why other countries do it. Because see, on Twitch, right? I mean, there's multiple reasons. Multiple reasons. I mean, one of the big ones, I guess, is not... I think one of the biggest reasons for, like, normal people not to do it is their PC can't handle it, right? Their PC won't handle it very well and it looks bad. But another thing, true 1080p, right? There's not enough bitrate from Twitch is why. One of the other reasons that people don't. The bitrate is too low for true 1080p, right? It never looks right. So a lot of people would rather have more frames... Than higher resolution because more frames is better to most people. So they would rather have more frames than just having a better resolution. Because in the grand scheme of things, most people are not watching like on an HD monitor or an HD. You know, you wouldn't, you can't really tell the difference, but you can definitely tell the difference when you add more frames, kind of thing. That's one of the reasons. There's no killer like him. For me, it looks weird when someone isn't using 1080p. Yeah. But that's the biggest reason. People just... It's just the whole frames thing. A lot of people... My computer can't handle it anyways. And another thing, too, is uh, internet speed in America, too. People don't realize, like, how big the United States is. Like, it's huge. And a lot of it's rural, so a lot of us don't have 
amazing internet too. I mean, there's multiple reasons. Don't have the, the amazing internet either to handle it. A lot of countries have better internet, but I said that they're a little bit closer together. Kind of thing. But there is, there's a bunch of reasons. Depends on the person, I guess. I know people that will literally stream and try to stream in 4K if Twitch gave more bitrate. There's a number one issue, yep. And I said, there's the internet issue, there's PC, their PC's not being able to handle it, and their bitrate of Twitch is a bit too low. Twitch needs to upload their bit load, bits or their uh, thing a little bit, but they never will. I don't think so anyway, it's not a long time. The biggest issue with, there's just too many streamers on Twitch. Twitch would have to like lower the amount of people that stream is one of the biggest issues they'd have to do. Yep. That's capitalism, right? <laughs> I don't know where this is at. Seven golden birds perched here and there. One escaped to the trees with his treasure. Dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you. Perched here and there. One escaped from the tree to the trees. It's his trees. I don't even see no trees here. Yeah. Purpose. I watch a lot on mobile, so I don't usually notice. Yeah, see here, like, I got pretty good. I got the best internet I can get right now. At least I go, like, over a really expensive business line, and it's only, it's a hundred. And that's, and that's good here, right? That's really good. For most everybody, like, they can't even get that. Just the way of the world, right? It's supposed to change. I think Elon Musk is working on faster internet for everybody and being really cheap, supposedly. We'll see, though. I don't really see how, for gaming, his idea will work, but we'll see, right? It's interesting. We shall see. Some places have, yeah, some places I'll have like 10, <laughs> like 25 is high. So a lot of it is, it's just literally where you live and it's a deep topic, right? Many, many reasons for people to do what they're doing. I think it's going to probably not get better, honestly. It's probably just going to get worse. Nice, yeah. As I said, America's just too big. Like, people just, like, have no clue, like, how big the United States is compared to a lot of other countries. And I said, a lot of it is rural. I mean, like, where I live, I mean, it's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm lucky to get what I get. So, kind of way of the world. Elon Musk wants to go through satellites. I feel like satellites is probably going to be a mess, honestly. I have no clue where this thing's at. <coughs> he lives in the United States like me. Not that you asked me, sorry. I took it back, don't listen to me. He lives in his butt. <laughs> the deep south. In Georgia. At least this gives you a general area, and I think I'm too far away from it, yeah. But I said, there's multiple reasons. I mean, a lot of streamers won't stream in 1080p in general, even if they have the internet, just because. And throttling is a big problem in the United States. I'm s the United States is weird. It's kind of like uh, Apple just got sued, and actually, like, but they, it's 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 such a drop in a bucket to them that they were uh, making old iPhones slow. Like, iPhone co like Apple's a garbage company in my opinion, but people love their phones for some reason. But they actually just got sued for uh, 
and they won, but it was only like $2 million for slowing down o uh, iPhones so people would buy new ones. They actually like, but it was only two mil, like two mil in the in, in the scheme of how much money they made doing that crap was there's nothing. At last. Now oh, we found it finally. I was thinking it had to be above it, that area a little bit. Yeah. We didn't even actually. We didn't even really until uh, until Spectrum came through that we actually got decent internet for a cheap price. Or Spectrum, there was nothing. Spectrum keeps on raising their prices though. That's what all these companies do, right? They always raise their prices with time. They don't use miles over their rest. You don't know what you're talking about. They use sweetest chocolate, right? How many sweetest chocolate bars is it away? Yeah, that's yeah. Not close number neighbors, but that's a bit too far in my opinion. <laughs> That's another thing that's nice about America. Driver license are a lot cheaper than other countries. Some people like explain to us like how much it cost them to get their driver license, and I'm like, man, alive. At least it's cheaper here. <laughs> Quite a bit cheaper. I mean, from to get your driver license in America, at least where I live, it's literally like forty bucks. I think it is forty or fifty dollars to get your driving license from start to finish. And other countries are like, you know, it's thousands of dollars. I'm like, thousands? But man, 50 bucks basically here, and you get yours. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Cost me 20. I mean, from start to finish, though. I'm talking about like getting your permit and stuff, because permits are usually like 20 bucks. Then your license, 20 bucks. So, 40 to 50 bucks, right? Because you do got to get your permit first. And then you gotta get your license. So if you're, you know, paying for your permit and then paying for your license, 40, 50 bucks, <coughs> I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't got my permit in a long time, so maybe this ten here too. So 30 bucks then. 30 bucks. Yes, it is. It's too easy to get your license here. Way too easy. That's why we got so many bad drivers around. Anybody can get their license here. Anybody. <laughs> I mean, my driver, my driving test was literally driving around the block. My driving test took like five minutes. I was at five minutes, and they gave me my license. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculously easy to get your license in America. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Which one do we have? I don't even know if like the extra damage is good here. I mean, this one does less damage, but I feel like even though with more damage, it's kind of pointless because you can't kill anybody in one shot with an arrow, anyways. Pretty much, Hearts winner. They want us to pass a test of driving range where it's icy. We're all online now. Yeah. That's the thing here, where we live, it gets really icy and stuff too. I don't know. Then they wonder why people wreck. <laughs> America. America just doesn't care. And it's the same with, I think anybody above the age of 21 can teach you to drive. You don't have to actually take even lessons like you do in a lot of other countries where you have to actually go and have somebody teach you. You can just have family do it or whoever. I think it's 21. Might be 20. I think, I think it is 21. I don't think it's 18. Yeah. 
after a witch. Guess we should sell stuff while we're here. I think we've almost bought everything though from these two guys. We just got that one lady wherever she's at. Americans don't even do that much. I don't know. Americans are usually broke as hell, especially in rural areas. They're not gonna pay for that extra stuff. At least we don't. <laughs> I've almost slid in the ditch many a time, but <laughs> worry about it. I'm always ready to trade. I have to go for my motorcycle license. Motorcycle licenses are even cheaper than the other ones. We can't drive in winter. Yeah, see here they don't care. They did just pass a law here that you're not allowed to start your car and leave it running to warm it up, which is really annoying because it gets really cold here. I'm here. We're not at Unorachus. We're in a cave nearby. The entrance is marked with a heron and an eclipse. That's an annoying law, though. On my way. Because, like, when I babysit, I have a, I have a baby in my car, and I'm not allowed to turn my car on before I get in it. I have to, like, that's so annoying. I think it's an insurance thing. They're scared people are gonna steal my. I mean, if somebody wants to steal my crappy car, like that's their choice, right? I feel like if they want to steal my car, like that's their choice. Oh, is this the guy you couldn't find? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, there's this guy. Same with this, like two items right here that I don't know how to get to. Is that a state law? Yeah, it's a state law for Kentucky. I don't think it's I don't think it's a full law everywhere, but I think it, I think it's just Kentucky that you're not supposed to. I mean, you, if I'm not mistaken. It's crazy because like it gets like down to like zero, which I don't know what that is in the other one, but it gets down to zero. Like today, it's like in the 30s, and you're not allowed to go outside and like start your car and run it. Without being in it, it's like, pff, what crap is that? Which I don't know how they would keep catch you. And besides, yeah, it's a recent one. They literally just changed it like this winter. I don't even know if it's to infect yet. Who's gonna stitch on me, right? Your cows, right? The cows, the neighbor's cows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who would tell on me though. I think I think it's more if somebody actually steals your car though. If somebody steals your car, and like it comes out that you had your car running, I think it's more just what what would happen. You wouldn't get any insurance for it, kind of thing. Not so much. They're just gonna drive around and look for people that. It was a trap. The box was taken and Unaratu was captured. Gas and stuff. Yeah. We heard. We're working on a plan. That's a good idea. Being held at the prison by the old temple. A con that arrayed and was taken. They have those on they have those on semi trucks here, but not regular cars. Semi trucks they do. <laughs> what if I climb up here, free her, and then signal to attack? That could work. Let's leave scouting the temple in the upper district. We could find your way in. I'll go talk to him. We'll have backup ready once you get her out. Sounds good. Strength and safety. Thank you, Laura. I'll get her out. I know. Really, you believe that? The great Sinchichika and the shield of the age maker. Why not? Listen to yourself. It's a myth. Unuratu believed it. That's enough for me. It's a story, Gorienka. It's real. I know it is. It's just something our parents told us when we were kids. No, you're wrong, Kumia. The shield will unite us. The only things we should trust in to defeat Kukulkan are our skills and our wits. Well then, seeing as neither are your strong suit, I suggest you get back to your training. Uh, I think that our cars won't start without it because it's too code. It's funny, our cars, like, it depends, I guess. If you have a newer battery, they'll start, but if you don't have a new battery, they won't start when, when it gets really code. There's plenty of times my car wouldn't start. <laughs> it, I don't know. 
Winters are weird, especially with all these changes lately. The cult of Kukul Khan has gone too far. The time to strike is now. They yeah, you miss perps. Push, and all we do is take another step back. If Unaratu is unwilling to do anything, yeah, same here. Then we should move forward without her. With with all these weather changes, though, we haven't really had really cold days like we used to. I mean, we used to have really cold days, but it's not as bad as it was. Yeah, but perps, perps had a uh, had early work today. She was work. She was open. She's opening to like two, sadly. Which, if you guys are interested, she is. Uh, I think she's. Let me look. Let me look. I think she's streaming on caffeine tonight or today at like six thirty Eastern. I think it's what it is. If you want to check her out, if you want to go watch her, I think that's what she's gonna be on is caffeine. If you want to go catch her over there? Let me see. Yeah, stream on caffeine from 6.30 to 7.30. I think she's playing Bez and Helsing. So you might catch her over there. Backward engine starting out like that with preheating. the end. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think cars are cheaper here, though. I mean, it, I guess it depends on what kind of car you want, but cars are... I mean, my first car cost like five hundred dollars, and it ran really well. I mean, it wasn't the best, of course, but it wasn't horrible. A six-point mace, cast from copper, with an embedded axe blade, a fearsome so cool. weapon. Which I think newer cars are different now. I don't know. My, I haven't had a new car in a long time. My cars have always been over like 10 to 15 years something. old. Now Unaratu is captured. You did all you could. And the other rebels. They'll make an example of them. We can't focus on that right now. God, what a mess. Do they hire women, I wonder? I don't weirded it. Go outlaw and cars that run on gas. Yeah, I wish America would do something like that. It's kind of weird. Gas has actually been going down around here. I don't know. Like you guys have different measurements, I know, so it's kind of hard to compare. But like, like a gallon of gas, right? <sighs> Which an average car carries maybe 20 gallons, right? So 20 gallons. So how, probably how, how much ever to fill your car up. And it's only, like right now, where, where I live, it's been right around, it's been right around, uh, what is it? It's been right around, uh, a dollar, a dollar 88, I think is what I paid last time. Yeah, so it was like a dollar eighty-eight for a gallon. So I'm guessing that's a lot cheaper than you. Cause how much you guys pay a liter? Yeah, cause it was a dollar. Yeah, see, like you can. Ours is way cheaper. <laughs> Yours is almost like five dollars a gallon, over around five dollars, and ours is a dollar eighty. Like that's. We'll never probably get away from gas with prices like that. Honestly, I... we need to like it needs to go down quite a bit. <laughs> Would have to go down quite a bit. So we can talk to these quest givers. America is cheaper in a lot of ways, but the other stuff is more expensive. I, I don't know. <coughs> Have more rebels been captured? Ishiki, maybe you can help. I sent five men to steal the cult of Kukul Khan's weapons for the rebellion, but the mission failed. In former times, I would have led them myself, but now I can't fight. I can't even run, or else I start to cough up blood. But I'm still a good planner, or I was until today. My comrades were caught and strung on posts throughout the lower village as a warning. They're going to hang there until they die. 
You said I might be able to help. Yes. With your Serpent Guard attire, you can untie all four of them and no one will suspect you. Four? You said there were five men on the mission. There were. Kolki was leading them, but he wasn't captured along with the others. Nobody's seen him. He's probably been killed. I'll see what I can do. That's such a cool looking costume. Can we like remove this thing off of here? Lara. Yes? I am Korianka. Unuratu has spoken very highly of you. I was the one who opened the way to the old barracks when Etsy was captured. You played a part in that as well. We are sisters of the same cause. Ah, I see. Your tattoo, are you... One of the shorn ones, yes. But that was another life. Before Amaru, when we stood for something else. He dissolved my order in favor of his priests. I am all that is left. But I swore an oath. Never take a step backwards in battle. So now I wear the colors of the rebellion. I am duty-bound to Queen Unuratu. Well, the reputation of the Shorn Ones is well known to me. Historically speaking, it's an honor. You're too kind. I heard you speak of Emperor Sinchi Chika. Yes, the first Emperor of Paititi. He is Unuratu's ancestor. He made this age everything we see, touch, smell, everything we fight for now. I've never heard of this shield before, the... The shield of the Age Maker. It is the evidence this rebellion needs that Unuratu is the one to lead Paititi into the next age. Inscribed on the shield is the ordination ritual. The ritual will prove Queen Unuratu is the next Age Maker. That only she may create destiny, and not that false god Amaru. And where is the shield? Hidden. Deep within the mountain, beyond the path of Huracan. The path of Huracan? It is a trial, designed to test all those who seek the shield. You've already tried. That was my mission before Etsley was captured. Unfortunately, I had to divert. Since his rescue, the cult knows we're planning something, so... Now I must prepare our fighters, and the shield must wait. Only I fear that if we wait too long, Amaru may get to it first and deny Unuratu's claim. If Amaru gets the shield, he can unite Paititi behind whatever story he chooses and proclaim himself the Age Maker. He'll remake the world as he sees fit. Yes. That and can't I love happen. You, random citizen. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. That's my friend over there with Uchu. His name's Jonah. I'll contact him if I find anything. I'll stay close to him. Thank you, Lara. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Cause see, uh, okay. Are we gonna get rid? Uh, thank you so much for that follow. But the thing with America, right? Our healthcare system is weird. A lot of people assume that Americans pay for healthcare. Everybody does, but it's weird here. The only people that kind of get screwed by healthcare in America is the middle class, right? If you're poor, they'll pay for your. The government will pay for your healthcare. They'll pay for like almost anything. Uh, but, and if you're rich, of course, you can get good insurance. It's kind of just the middle class, lower middle class that kind of gets screwed. You don't make enough money to, like, be able to afford good insurance, but you also don't make little enough to get free insurance. So here, it's weird, right? I mean, it depends. But for a lot of people, you know, they don't have to worry about health care. It's just that poor middle class right there that kind of gets cucked. But in like, it's kind of weird because I said a lot of it, you know, they cover most of it. I mean, they cover like, they cover you going to the dentist. They cover you going to the eye doctor. They cover, I said most everything. There's very few stuff they don't cover if you're poor enough. It's just that poor middle area. It kind of just gets screwed. That poor, that poor
or middle area. So in the grand scheme, you know, we don't have to pay for most of it. If we could ever get our system, like, fixed a bit, I mean, you don't even have to worry about it. What are you doing? I'm trying to read this stupid mural. I will. Show respect. I'm sorry, Ahau. I mean no disrespect to Kukulkan. I'm studying the murals to become a serpent guard, like my father. I'm sure he's very proud of you. But what if I can't understand the lessons they're teaching? Then what? Maybe I can help. Do you think your father would mind that? Would he, Mayu? No, child. I'm sure your father would be pleased to learn you've had the house help. Great. I've got part of this first one here. It's water. Well, something about water anyway. Uh, I think. And the others I haven't looked at yet. How about I go and study all the murals and then come back to you and we can discuss them? I'll be here. I'm Lara, by the way. I will. Sapper 3 murals? Again, how I'm going to make my father something so long about it, but yeah, I don't mind. A lot of people get whatever about it, but I don't mind talking about it personally. What happened to our quest? It just vanished, it was like over here, and then it just disappeared. But it is interesting, like I said, America is a very weird country. It's just like, it's kind of just the middle class that almost always gets screwed in America. The other one's not so much. Maybe one day it'll get better. I don't think so though. Capitalism is a mess at times. We're right back, guys. I'm gonna grab a glass of water. Ugh, so one second. There's pretty much one thing an American can say to make me go, nope, I don't think we are comparable. Goodbye. Yeah. Well, the issue, I think, with a lot of people is, is just the kind of information they have. I think a lot of people just see stuff on the news, and, and it's true with any country, but America's probably one of the biggest ones, honestly, that people, that I hear a lot of stuff that's not exactly true, right? I should have done something. Now Unaratu is captured. It's not exactly Under true. Rebels, like it's, they'll make an example of them. But again, you, you can never know. God, what a mess! If you, I don't know. America's just kind of a, a weird place. That's hard to explain if you've never been around it. But the, okay. The thing about living in America, though, it depends on which state you live in, too. A lot of people don't realize that state law is different a lot different between states like there's a lot of different laws between states right it's kind of like now weed right the whole marijuana thing there's states that it's legal and completely legal but if you take that weed and you drive across state lines to a state that it's not legal you can get in trouble for it 
even though it's legal in some states. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize like how much of a difference it makes living in different states in America, right? When what is above him is now below, the fed become the food that And I think it's true of a lot of countries. The ground, the earth. I mean the culture is so the can be so different. So different between uh states that you just don't really realize it until you like visit different states and talk to different people in America and realize a lot of it's different as hell. Yeah, all right, it's different. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize when they talk about America. It's such like a big group sum of how America is. And it's like a lot of the stuff that people say is not true for every state. Like the whole gun nonsense. In a lot of places, guns are basically illegal. It's just in some states, it's more lax. Which is a big debate too that we probably shouldn't talk about. Like but it, it, it's like a lot of stuff. It just depends where you live. Water? So him must be Chuck, the god of rain. It's kind of interesting to me, but a lot of people take offense to it. But I haven't lived in another country, honestly, so I can never really judge other countries. I mean, I can judge, I guess, like anything, but I try not to judge too harshly because I don't really know. I've never lived there. I don't know what they've dealt with, you know? Yeah, right? Religious states is another one. And as I said, it's just crazy to me, like, how different each state can be. And people always lump America into one category. Always. And it's just like... America's like an amazing country a lot of times just because of the, the, the diversity and the variety you can get in America. Depending on different states, right? It, it depends. Not all places are the same. It's kind of interesting to me. It's it's one of the coolest things. You know, you can just kind of... It's kind of like how uh, over in Europe, like how different countries are different, right? You know, you drive, you can drive to other countries and... Which I think is getting a little bit harder because of certain things, but... But you can kind of get like a different taste. There's a lot of quests here, isn't there? No, I don't. I, I'm just talking in general. I'm not talking about just you. This is a very in general conversation, right? I said people. That's why I didn't say you. <laughs> I made sure to say people a lot, right? People. with politics but that's not what I see when I visit yeah it's it's weird it really is I don't know to each their own I could imagine living in any other country but I don't have it that bad here yeah a lot of the stuff that you hear about politics you don't really it don't really affect most people Honestly, it doesn't really affect most people. And I think that's why a lot of politics don't change. Because a lot of it doesn't affect everybody, you know? And I guess it's true with a lot of other countries. Like, a lot of stuff just never... It never changes, right? You know, the... You, you, the vast majority don't deal with it, so you, they don't question it, right? Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. There is. Ernie? Yeah. I'm kind of curious. I, I kind of like want to see him get in just so. Just to see. Hello? How would it go? Have you heard? It's so terrible. Sumac was killed by his own servant. How do you know Sumac? Everyone knows Sumac. He was my mentor and business partner. He, he made my business possible. Trade in the upper district without the right contacts is it's impossible. Sumak did all that for me and more. <coughs> I'll find out what happened to him. Thank you, Ahau. Politics in general to me is very interesting. I feel like people just spout like Facebook nonsense at, at you. It's kind of like the 
the society we live in now. People just read stuff on Facebook or different things and just take it as truth. It's she really annoying. She the dark and brings the day that follows. That's the sun. Kenichi Hao is the sun god. But they worship Trump? What do you mean? The gods in the murals are all giving life and taking it away. A balanced interaction. The murals were teaching about the duality of life and death. Heavy stuff for a child. Have you not been informed of the death of Sumac? Indeed, Ahau. He was a great man. He was. Now sound the call of mourning to usher him to the afterlife. Yes, Ahau. I will play. I personally don't really judge people too harshly in general. A burnt note. I can still make out part of it. Ikhau. Consider this the official end of our business relationship. Signed, Sumac. If you want my honest opinion about Trump, would you be leave over? That's fine, I guess. I mean, if, <laughs> but to me, the biggest thing about Trump is he's not a politician. That's the biggest thing. He's not a politician. So a lot of like people grow up being a politician. They don't know, like, they know how to like act, right? He doesn't know how to act. So at least you kind of get him at face value. You know what he's gonna do, even if it's you can't find it stupid, you find it whatever. You do kind of, you kind of do realize, you know, this is the best Tomb Raider. I, I think. It's up there, I think. I enjoyed them all, though. I'm not really sure which one would be my favorite. Anything he does, yeah. But that's true with any president, though. Even with, like, really bad dictators back in the day, there's always people that said everything he done was justifiable. Way of the world. How did it happen? When we arrived, Shoko, the mistress of the house, was arguing with Taruka, her servant. Sumak lay dead between them. Taruka was covered in blood. Did Shoko witness the murder? No. She came home from the market to find Taruka standing over Sumak. Has Taruka confessed? No, he pleads innocence. But you're here now, Ahau. Few can lie under the scrutiny of the gods. Hmm. When he confesses, speak with the investigator. He's up near the body. Oh, Ahau, please show mercy. I swear I didn't kill my master. Be calm, Taruka. Tell me what happened. I came in from working the fields. I heard a loud noise, like a gate slamming shut. I ran and found Sumak covered in blood. He'd been stabbed. I, I tried to stop the bleeding, but he was already gone. That's why your hands are bloody. Ahau, please believe me. I'll return if I have any more questions. Let's see. You look at Trump lies when you look at what he stands for. That's the deal breaker. But that's the thing, though. Every single, every single politician lies. Every single one of them. Tragedy. I must see Shoko. That's the big thing. Like every dang politician lies. It, it's that's I said to me. Not as much as Trump. But if you say so, I I. I feel like all of them lie. Every bit. That's what I say about Trump, though. Like, he's not a politician. So the big thing with him is his lies are more evident because he just spouts everything, right? He 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 just spouts all the stuff. So it's more evident about what he's doing because he he opens his mouth a lot, and a lot of these people train their entire life not to do what he does. <laughs> But again, I don't know. I don't think he's a great president, but I don't. I feel like we haven't had a great president. I feel like he's not any worse than any other president we've had in my lifetime. I don't know where we're supposed to go for this quest. What's up, Carrie? It's kind of like I, I hear a lot of people that always sing praise about Obama from other countries, but they weren't here to see what Obama actually did, but they sing a lot of praise for that guy. 
And it's because he's very charismatic. He was very good at talking. Which is kind of funny because he's kind of like the opposite of uh, Trump, right? Trump's just a big dummy that spouts all kinds of stupid crap all the time. Compared to like Obama that never, you know, he's really good at like Hello? articulating Shoko? himself. Yes, uh -huh. I know this is difficult, but I need you to tell me what happened. I was at the market with you. I already talked to the serpent guard. Oh, poor Sumac. Take your time. Start from the beginning. You're at the market? Pretty good. Yes, with Agna. I was going to make bok chuk. It's... It was my husband's favorite. Agna? One of my servants. What happened it's, when uh, It's stuck. Home? I can't talk to him anymore. I just talked to him. Farouk in the kitchen, standing over Sumac. His hands covered in my husband's blood. I yelled and the guards arrived. Was he holding a weapon? No. Did you hear a loud slam as you arrived? Uh, uh no, of course not. What about Akna? What about her? She was with me. She accompanied me to the market and back. Where is she now? Recovering in her room. She's had quite a shock. I'll go talk to her. But... Uh, yes, of course, Akna. As you wish, Akna. Yeah, cause see, it's like above him, but you can't really talk to him. Looks like the body was moved. Greetings, Ahal. What do you have? Sumak was stabbed in the neck many times with something pointy and very sharp. Like an arrow or a knife? Whatever it was, it's gone now. We've searched the entire room. Then the murderer took the weapon with them. May I have a look at the body? Of course. You're awesome. God's grant you the wisdom to see what I can. See, that's the thing with politics. Like, I don't mind. People, like, have a different opinion than mine. Or, same with anything. It's I don't mind talking about it. I feel like a lot of people get really butthurt really fast, and then they just, like, don't want to be friends anymore or whatever. To me, it's like, I don't care if your opinion differs from me. Even if I find your opinion stupid, that's your choice, right? <laughs> I don't mind. For a stab wound, there's not much blood. Yes, how? Did anyone see Shoko at the market at the time when Sumac was killed? She was with Agna, her servant. Why? Taruka says he heard a gate slam when he arrived. That's what drew him to discover the body. Soon after, Shoko arrived. That's correct. So where's the murder weapon? We searched everywhere. It's not in the house. <sighs> We're missing something. I'll speak with Agna, see what she knows. As you wish, Ahal. Always in the serious talks. Is guilty a hoe. I'm sure of it. What or another speaks about their character? Maybe. But this would never be clear. There are bloody tracks on the floor. Hello, Akna. Oh, a hoe. Forgive me. I thought you were the mistress. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. <laughs> Does this gate open? The gate? No, no, no. It's broken. It has been broken for, uh, for a long time. Akna. I'll find another way around. I remember we got around this earlier, but I don't remember how we did it. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. You have been there once? Yes, Ahal. How can I help? You said earlier you've been working in the fields. Did you return here with your tools? No. Since the rebels attacked, the cult of Kukulkan has seized our farming tools. We must surrender them when leaving the fields. <laughs> When Shoko returned, was Akna with her? No, it was only Shoko. Akna was not there. Why? Thank you, Taruka. As I told you, Taruka, the servant, was found with blood on his hands. It was only a matter of time. Ahau, hello. Is it true? Sumak was murdered? Yes, I'm looking for Akna. I have questions for her. 
The servant Sounds like girl? me. Never know nothing. Wouldn't waste any time on her. She doesn't know anything. She can't even see what's going on right in front of her eyes every day. What do you mean? I apologize, How? It's not my place to speak. If you know something, tell me. Let's just say Shoko and Suma didn't have the most passionate of marriages. Shoko always had eyes for Ikal. Ikal? Sumac's business partner. So they were friends. They're much more than <laughs> friends, I think. Thank you for the information. The pleasure is mine, Ahau. I know it's kind of like watching Dragon Ball Z back in the day and realizing most of their names come from, like, uh, food and different things. Like Piccolo was an instrument. Maybe that's what it was. I can't remember. It's been a while, but there's, like, so many things like that. I don't remember how we got around here. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh yeah, oh, this way. I think it was this way anyways. Is that bus there? Okay, I felt a vibration, but maybe I'm just tripping. It was just a vibration of what I felt. The ground was disturbed here recently. <clears throat> this must be the knife used in the murder. An antique knife, possibly Aztec in origin. Mm, there's fresh blood on this blade. But it seems as though someone tried to wipe it clean. The edge hasn't been sharpened in years. Put it back. You must. The mistress said if anyone saw it, she would get in trouble. Why would she get in trouble? Please, Aho, don't make me. If anything happened to the mistress... You need to tell me everything. The mistress didn't come to the market with me. When I got back to my room, the gate was broken and there was blood everywhere. As the mistress called for the guards, she gave me the knife to hide. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your honesty, Akna. Please. <laughs> Please forgive me, Ahau. Please. Shoko will be brought to justice. I love how, like, this chick's like, well, I'm not going to betray my mistress. And Laura's like, come on, just do it, right? Just betray her. And she's like, okay, fine. Here's what happened. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> That's funny. It's literally like, hey... Like, I don't want to betray her, but come on, y you know you want. Oh, okay, fine, fine, Laura, you're very, you're very, uh, convincing. I'll be right back, I gotta run to the bathroom. No, you're awesome, perps. Hope your day at work's going all right. I'm gonna go get an orange. I'll be over you as well.
probably go get something to eat too. I'm hungry. Let's go wait a little bit longer. I don't have to take too many breaks when we do this. What the heck is that? What? More blood. Someone tried to clean this. This must be where Sumac was killed. Must be, right? Could be, shouldn't be. Oh, now the gate's magically fixed. Thanks, lady. Like how she's still cleaning up blood, even though she ain't supposed to. What is it, Ahal? Where was Akna when you found your husband? What? She was with me. Taruka says she wasn't. And you take the word of a servant over mine? I only want the truth. Forgive me, Ahal. I, I have no idea what Taruka meant by that. Akna was close by. She, she must have gone back to her quarters. When she is nervous, she cleans. What a jerk. Examine the body, Ahal. Perhaps you can see something I missed. Probably not. I'm sure you will find something that proves I'm innocent. It kind of takes a heartless person to kill somebody, but like even worse, or not really worse, but like he, he also like blames this poor dude. Like how heartless could you be, right? Bad enough you kill somebody, then you're also gonna like ruin somebody else's life. Pakal, Turuka is innocent. Sumak was killed by his wife Shoko and his business partner Akal. They are lovers. I found the knife they used in a note from Sumak ending his business relationship with Akal, which would have ruined him. They both would have lost everything. Arrest her! <laughs> no! Find Tikal! Shoko wasn't at the market. She and Akal were alone together as they often were when Sumak found them. In the heat of the moment, Sumak was killed, stabbed in the neck several times. No! No! Sumak fell in the passage back there. Akal dragged his body where Taruka would easily find it. Then Shoko slammed the inner gate shut to attract Taruka's attention. She and Akal left by the servant quarters. Shoko gave Akna the knife and told her to hide it. Then she confronted Taruka and blamed him for the murder. Now they could keep all of Sumak's wealth, power, and influence for themselves and finally be together. Ugh, it was Akal! Silence! You will both be dealt with. Ahau, please, go set Taruka's free. Thank you for your help. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. This is their uh, Taruka, you're free to go. Thank you, Ahal. Sometimes there is justice. Sometimes. Not sure you meant me, but you're sweet. Yes, you meant us. First is a very good person. Very sweet. Yeah, I should check her out sometime. She does stream. She's streaming more often lately. She streams a lot of like story games. She doesn't really do the multiplayer thing. So if you like that kind of stuff, it's definitely you know it's nice. Do we mark this quest? I don't know how you mark quests. Oh, there it is. Over there. But she's very nice. Herb is one of the most amazing people I've met through streaming. It's kind of crazy. Like, without streaming, a lot of people like, you'd never meet or make such like amazing friends that feel like they'll be for around forever. They usually don't sleep when you guys stream. Yeah. Lucky for you, I'm an early bird, right? <laughs> an early bird. She usually streams around this time if she can. She does do some like at later streams, but she does stream around this time. 
maybe a little bit later, usually like 9 or 10. So, usually streams like an hour from now is usually when her stream is. I'd say if it works out, if she's not like working or whatever, or if she has a day off, she usually starts at 10 Eastern. Apex, I know. As soon as I start playing Apex, you leave. <laughs> I'm like, man, <laughs> every time. Can't carry I think what I, I've been talking to Purpose about doing is just trying to like mainly, mainly, <sighs> mainly doing like um, variety, right? <laughs> just do variety, or do like story games. Do like story games, right? And then do other variety later. You know, do uh, because we stream on Caffeine too, which is another streaming platform. Maybe just stream Apex over there. It's a lot of people. It's not really their thing. You know. There was another quest up here. We should have like maybe started. I don't remember where was that exactly though. I should have. I think we need to switch outfits, right? I don't think that guy wants us to be in this. Thank you so much for the biddies. I'll go late sometimes. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Such a sweet person, easy. I used to be able to get free biddies, but I can't do that anymore. Bad. I was up here in a cave somewhere, wasn't it? This guy? To figure out where he was at. I really hate that we couldn't start that quest because we were wearing the wrong outfit. Oh, see, I changed outfits now. I can't do her quest. Annoying. Can't start this one either. And there's a lot of quests around. This is the only guy that we can do, right? Listen for the sound of drums. Oh, we already done this quest. So it told me I couldn't do this quest because I had that serpent guard and then I went to do it and I can't do it because <sighs> because we already did it. I thought it was like I thought he had another one. Okay, whatever. So you need to turn in the mural quest. Yeah, I need to do that too. I was just trying to do that one while I was over here so I wouldn't forget to do it later. We need to turn in the mural quest. We also need to, which is over there by that one spot. So we shouldn't miss it. It's over there by. See what I mean about awesome? Oh, works a big sweetheart. Work must be cool for her. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't think she's actually watching. Watching, she's at work, so she's probably just checking in every once in a while. Just FYI. FYI. We need to change our outfit again, don't we? Where's is there a campsite near here? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just went right into that lady. Tackler. Move, witch, get out the way. But I think what we'll start doing is probably play this is until we get tired of playing it, and then maybe switch to like Byro for now. And then once we get this game, I think we might start uh, Witcher. It's kind of the plan right now. I kind of wanted to do Witcher and this at the same time, but it's probably not a good idea to get two like ones with like lots of story all together. That'll probably be the plan, and then use Witcher in the morning, and then do the other later. Mayu, where's the wheel? Is everything oh, all right? Oh, she is here. Okay. I don't know. Her father came and collected her. He said he wanted to reward her for her studies and let her participate in a ritual. What ritual? The ritual of awakening. Ahau, 
that involves the sacrifice of a child. Do you think Awil's father would harm her? Want me to do that? I've known him for years. Today, when he came, he looked right through me. His eyes were black, empty. Where did he take her? To the abandoned village. Please, hurry. And alive. Well, there's a lot of quests now. Why is everything dying? My headset was dying and my controller's dying. I thought I'd at least charge one of them. Apparently not. Eleven side quests just for this place or all together. There's a lot in this area, which I think we're getting close to like the last. This is like the last big area, I think. Not like the last like dungeon, but the last big city. Or this place, jeez, freaking Louise. That's a lot. And they're pretty in depth too. Waiting for you. This way. You have one major quest up after this? Jeez. The game is pretty big. Which I think we're like halfway we through. Do you imagine if they gave you a choice to like say, hey, let's sacrifice this guy, child? <laughs> sacrifice. Uh, uh -huh. I present to you my own blood, my daughter, Awil. Her mind and spirit are strong, stronger than any I've ever seen. I am so, so proud of my Awil. She will make a fine sacrifice. Here, the nectar of awakening. Hear me, Kinicha Hao, face of the sun. I offer you Awil. The Chosen One. She will drink from the Nectar of Awakening. And her heart will be taken from her chest. And cast onto the fire. The embers of my own flesh and blood. Given to you. So that you may not to extinguish the sun. Awil, it's Lara. I want you to run back to Mayu when I say, okay? Awil, run! Can I hit this guy? Apparently? Man, it's hard to hit me here. Oh man, it hurt. Accidentally, 
Ailito Poleche. Tu men weyan tinguetel kukulkan. What the hell is hitting us? I don't know what the hell hit me there. That was weird. I almost died there for no reason. Next we stepped on that. Was there a fire there or something? Visible fire? Sneaking? Yeah, sneaking is fun in this. <laughs> kind of brutal though. Killed all these people. Would you guys consider these kind of people evil, though? That's kind of the thing. Would you? It's kind of like a weird thing. I know it's like crazy that you'd sacrifice your child, but but like it's kind of like it's what they believe, right? What you were raised believing that. I don't know. It's one of those weird things, I guess. They're really just nuts, yeah. You know? but all like almost all religions have like sacrifice in them. All of them. You look like a look back. They all used to sacrifice people. Even like the mainstream ones nowadays used to. A lot of them anyways. Usually animals though. I don't think it was much people. A lot of them. Still. Can't upgrade this stuff. Great, this one, I guess. That's what I believe. Just live and let live. I feel like people put their noses into people's business too much. I feel like that's one of the problems with religion a lot of times. People just put your nose in people's business too much. Ugh. Excuse me. Cause like a lot of them, that's what they do. Like it's literally like they they. If you don't believe the same way they you do, they, they do and stuff. It's just like like even if you don't agree on stuff, like it still should be somebody else's opinion. I think one of the one of the most disgusting things that I've seen people do, which I don't know, if it, I don't think it was religion. But people, you know, I don't know if, I think it probably still happens a bit now, but a lot of people disagreed with a lot of the wars that the uh, United States were in, right? They, they disagreed with it. And what some people used to do, they used to go to funerals of soldiers, right? Funerals of soldiers and protest at there and tell them basically that their, you know, their kids have died for nothing, that it was, you know, just a pointless whatever. Which is fine if you believe that, but why the hell would you go to somebody's funeral and do something like that? Like, what is wrong with people? Like, it was so crazy. Like, people would do that stuff, just go to... And it's not like you could do much about it. I mean, it's freedom of speech. But it was like, it's so, like, disgusting. People doing crap like that. It's just, it's just... People just suck a lot of times. Oh, are you hurt? I'm fine. I ran just like you said. Clever girl. Why did you stop the ritual? I will. You were going to be killed. But that's how it is. I was chosen. My sacrifice would keep Kinicha Hao from taking the sun away. Father said he dreamed me. Yeah, dreamed right. that I was special. A real. Dreams can be interpreted in different ways. What if you were meant to stay here, on Earth, and use your special power to become the greatest serpent god there ever was? Do you really think so? I do, yes. I can't wait to tell father. I will. Your father is... Going to be away for a while. So I will will stay with me, so she can continue her studies. Of course. I better get started now. There's still so much to learn. Thank you, Ahau. Yes, thank you, Ahau. I will make sure Awil is cared for. Please accept this bow as a thank you. It belonged to my mother. She was an eagle archer. May it serve you well. Thank you, Mayu. Got the new bow, I guess. I can't upgrade it, though.
What was it called? I don't remember which one it was. Was it this one? Art of the Eagle? What did it do? Automatically switch our bow there? Without, like, telling us? I'll try this bow out. The bow is so good. Seems good. Can't upgrade it much right now, but. Kind of a hard place to figure out how to get into, honestly. A lot of this stuff looks like you could go up that way, but you can't actually go up that way. Climb there? Well, the wine didn't allow me to climb there. Oh, here, I see now. Okay. Makes sense. While well, this place is stuff is so dark, you're about to enter the team. Of course, why not? This is a side tomb, isn't it? One of the DLC ones. They did a really good job on the DLC. Hot to it. It looks like this very place. There are many men moving through it, even more lay dead. And this, it's the shield, the prize they are all seeking. This is a trial, just as- It's kind of crazy the amount of voice acting they put in for Laura in this game. But I guess it's still, I used to play Dragon Age Inquisition, right? Which I really liked, which- was, But uh, like the amount of voice acting they put into that game is like mind blowing. Like, every character talked, right? Every character had voices, and there was a lot of talking. A lot. It's kind of still mind-blowing, the amount of people that they had voice acting in that game. And all of it was pretty good in that one, too. Jumping in this game is kind of iffy sometimes. One game I really hope they remake one of these days or make a new one's Prince of Persia for platforming. It was always so good. The story was pretty good too. I don't think there's been any of them. 
over there. Hard enough down. Did we climb up here? Hope that was like a hidden area or not. Oof, God, I hate when they do that. Jump up, lady, up. Change her outfit, or she just take the mask off. Conquistadors. They explored further than I realized. May the good Lord, in His infinite mercy, bless the souls of these loyal men and accept them into Paradise Eternal at His side. They served me well. And without their assistance, I surely would never have laid eyes upon what the Pytitians call the Shield of the Age Maker. It is with the deepest regret, therefore, as well as with a renewed commitment to my holy mission, that I have sent these men to their final reward. The secret that the Shield revealed to me cannot be trusted with anyone other than myself. And so I left it behind, and upon returning here with my escort, I humbly performed my duty. In God's name, Amen. Amen. bridge might have fallen due to an earthquake. Like blowing me off, even when the wind's not blowing. Game when I was younger and I stopped playing. Trying to catch up, yeah. That's a, that's, just, that's why I don't want to really play MMOs. Like, they're fun, but it's like, you kind of miss out on a lot of different games, sadly. Miss out on a lot of different games. I guess I'll do it. I don't know if it matters too much. So many games out there though, it's kinda... 
For a lot of us, I guess it's the completion of the door tattoo. Open, so they blasted through the ground. And that, right? I thought that was automatic. I don't know what I did. Whatever. <laughs> I was younger and stopped playing. Then played some sin. A lot of people getting back into WoW too. With the old school miss coming back. It don't help that this one lets you stay on it for some reason. A lot of them, the other ones don't. Yeah, like that. I, I'm surprised that I actually caught on something there. But it works, so it's fine. if some of this is easier playing on PC honestly like I died there because I accidentally tilted my stupid joystick too much in it it like made her go like rock the wrong way rock walk the wrong way <laughs> made her made her like like look the wrong way there instead of like continuing to walk like she's supposed to Annoying. I can't like figure out when the wind's gonna stop blowing here. <laughs> Continue to die a couple more times here, right? Uh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here because it don't look like the wind slows down at all. Zombie's just gonna die, 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 die. Might as well just leave the death thing up, right? I actually don't know. I don't know either. I don't know how you get past this part because it looks like the wind just stays fast. There's gotta be like a time that I'm missing.
There we go. We got it that time finally. But it's hard as I was thinking it out to be, of course. Really good at that. I wonder if this is the way the conquistadors win. This seems like a lot of work for them. Surprise we did. Somehow got through it without splatting. And then my rope snapped. The rope snapped and we died it there. I think we're probably gonna hit 100 deaths on this, honestly. Faster? I was being fast. I was being fast as light. I think I just missed time when I stuffed that thing, is what happened. structures for centuries. Ropes might be useful here. Patient. <sighs> Gotta be so fast here.
I regret going on it now. Yeah. I'm gonna be so good at dying on this game. It's kind of amazing, right? Let's go dire. Could this be Shark's lightning axe? for centuries. Hey, we got it. He's a peasy. The shield is gone. Jonah. Laura, what is it? Put Koryanka on. Koryanka, the shield's been taken. Then Amaru has it already. He wouldn't risk bringing it back into the city. It must be even deeper within the mountain. All right, I'll go after it. Details the automation ritual Koryanka mentioned. During the cleansing after the cataclysms, the eclipse will appear. Using the key of Shakshal, open the silver box and absorb the energy of Kuku Khan. We'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna run to the bathroom and just get something to eat. So, hopefully, maybe like five minutes. Couldn't be much longer than five minutes, but we'll do a BRB screen just in case.
Hello, hello. We're back, guys. We're back, we're back. Something quick, All right? You eat sausage biscuits. Put them in the microwave and heat them up. This is right here where I'm standing. It shows the shield of the Age Maker resting in its cradle. I, mean, I think biscuits are different for you guys. Actually, I'm moving through tree canopy. There's no cement walls. That was a breeze. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, we're not British. I know, but I don't. I, don't, I never understand like how English works. Do you guys learn like American English or like British English? You know. So it's kind of confusing, I guess, on which on what you wear, right? Well, that was scary. Kind of thing. Shit. That was too close. <clears throat> Most of us learn from TV, yeah. A lot of work for kids. I feel like my kid has to do a lot. I can imagine her trying to learn another language too at the same time. Which I guess yours guys probably do it different than we do. Probably better. <laughs> Optimize. Our schools are not very good at like um, being uniform, right? Having the same thing everywhere, which might, will probably make it a bit better. But knowing appropriate English. Yeah. And I think with like first grade, you can't fail first grade here. I mean, you can get held back, right? But I don't think you can like physically fail it. I think it's always up to the parent here. Great, yeah, makes sense. I feel like you can't slow if you jump on that, you should know that was gonna happen. <laughs> kind of really interesting that everybody in this game basically is a dang rock climber. You can climb through all these things with ease, right? Because <laughs> obviously that one guy just came through here not long before we did. So how the heck did they get through this? I wish our school's done that. Grades are stupid. And they, they used to not do grades when we were in like elementary school but now they do i think in like fourth or fifth grade they start giving you grades but now they give you grades at like first grade like my kiddo gets grades and it seems so freaking useless for a first grader to get grades like it doesn't tell me anything i'd much rather just have evaluations they do do evaluations too but i just don't understand why they do the grade thing period it don't really make sense to me it seems like such a useless number or letter that doesn't really tell me anything but I guess.
At least this one doesn't really have any puzzles. It's just mainly just getting there, right? Social and stuff like that, yeah. Ours kind of does that, but not real well. I think my uh, nephew's school, my brother's kid, their school's a little bit better than that. I kind of wish I could have got mine in his school. It kind of sucks with how this stuff is set up now. The crazy thing is, a lot of that stuff should be easier nowadays, though. You think a lot of that stuff would be easier because they got so much technology that makes it so much more accessible than everybody. I mean, they got apps and everything for schooling that you could just literally <sighs> just like put a little bit of reports in there every once in a while. Like it would be, it seems a lot easier than it, than it used to be. My fearless Corianka, the quest for the shield must wait. Etsley has been captured and is being held in the old barracks. I'm taking a team to retrieve him, but I need you to open the way. You know your way around that hive better than anyone I know. Lara Croft, the outsider I told you about, has agreed to help as well. I like her, Corianka. We can trust her. Be safe. I think that's how America kind of looks at things while we don't learn another language. It's like, why would we, I guess? I don't think they would know what language to even teach us because it seems like there's no, like, language you would need on a daily basis and stuff. We do have some kind of language classes, but they're kind of sucky. Kind of useless. something up there but there isn't it. There's an eclipse and here fire water these are the cataclysms it's the cleansing Emperor Shinchichika stands at the highest point in the city hundreds of people are gathered below him huddled beneath the shielded He's remaking the world, bringing about the next age. More need to pick one, yeah. Kind of interesting. But I feel like ours just, you know, it's just like, why would we learn another language? Is dumb. Like, as like, hoity toity as it sounds, because English is one of the most spoken. I mean, at least you're gonna learn, like, Spanish, I guess. Cause... <laughs> Spanish speakers, yeah. I mean, when I was down uh, in Texas visiting my grandparents, we did. We only really sent it one time though. We went to one restaurant where uh, the waitress didn't speak English. She only spoke Spanish. But like other than that, it's not been like, you know. No, no, no. I might 
turn around and see us. You know, he turns. That's my fault. How does it take to kill that guy? Got him so many times. Has to be a way in. Bulletproof, apparently. And <laughs> shot that dude like 10 times, or like 30 times, and he didn't die. Just kept on a trucking. Excuse me. Aren't you catching up with me already? I can't carry any more. I'm gonna pull again. Guess we could have done the poison arrow. Poison arrow was kind of OP in the other games. I don't know if it is in this one. A poison arrow was very strong. I mean, you used to be able to just like shoot a poison arrow and they would just die. You don't even have to worry about, uh. You don't even have to worry about like if not being stealthy, they would die and it would be stealthy. Somehow. Must be some good poison. That's it. I think there's everything in here. Those games are weird to me too. I don't get why people like those games either. Ah! You know, I talked to this one chick, and her husband's a farmer. <clears throat> and the only game he ever really plays is Farm Simulator. And you, you think, like, man, after you're doing the farm thing all day. You're doing the farm thing all day. You don't think you'd want to, like, do it more, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't think we can like stealth kill any of these guys. Maybe we'll just sneak past them, All right? Have to be quick. I 
That's so weird. Jonah, Koryanka was right. The cult moved the shield deeper into the mountain. Beautiful. I'm Damn. Laura, what's wrong? Someone's here. Legend is true. The shield of the age maker exists. As much as it pains me to think, this knowledge can never find Unaratu's ears. If she knew that Sinchi Chika's shield was here, it would give her the courage she needs to rise in Sairi's place. I know she has already started to draw plans against me. We should be mourning Sairi's death together as family. <coughs> Instead, we are both plotting against the other. I wish it were different. I truly do. Oh, what are you doing, kitty? You gotta see the kitty. Kirk crow. Right, key, key, key. He wants cuddles, right? It's all the cuddles. <coughs> but just gotten colder here again. My sound is popping for some reason. Maybe it's because I have that plugged in. Hearthstone Hunter is like a dollar simulator where you just like simulate being a dollar. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that guy. How many cats do you have? Oh, from that's cute. Shit, I like those. There's more of them. I only have this one. He's got a very Mr. K His name is Mr. Kitty. Shit. Croft. This little cockroach just won't die. She's got the goddamn shield. Fucking shoot her. Kitty. That's what happens when you let kids name a cat, though. <laughs> right.
Why is he still red? Why is he still red there? There's no way they should be able to see me there. I love how these guys' answer to like somebody shooting them in the face is like to put their head in the exact same spot that they just got shot in and like okay this works. That's kind of the funny part though. Like, okay like, hey, we'll just poke our heads right up in the same spot and then we'll work guys. It'll work. Don't worry. search all these bodies, right? Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kind of crazy how fast kitties start feeling he heavy, oh, even if they're not, like, I can't carry super fat. My mind's not too big. He started to be, and I, we had to put him on a diet for a little while. He was still so heavy after a while. I don't have enough space for that. I said, honestly, he's not that big of a cat. I mean, he. Which big reason he got put on a diet is because he started getting kidney stones. And since we put him on a diet, he hasn't got any kidney stones anymore, so I guess it works. All full up. Can't carry any more. I'm not going this room. Everything in there. Poor kitty, yeah. Yeah, they were very rough on him. He would just like 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 hiss and scream and He's not a very happy camper about it all. But since, since once he got to throw that stuff, he didn't really have it anymore. Once we uh, got his diet, which is good. Because he'd also pee on everything, too. Like, he would just pee, which I guess. And I know like one day he climbed in the village. He climbed in my dryer and peed in my dryer after unclean clothes. <laughs> I guess because they were soft. He was trying to make it not hurt. <clears throat> but peed right off some clean clothes. My fault for leaving the dryer open, I guess.
guess we can move the camera down a little bit, right? A smidge. You guys can see the kitty a little better. Hmm. Like Pion stuff, yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Like, he's never really done that before. It's kind of crazy how easy it is to, like, litter train cats, honestly. Because, I mean, from from him, like, as soon as the first day, like, he just showed up at my house one day. He was probably a month old at that. He was pretty young. And he just, like, went straight to, you know, once I showed him the litter box, he was fine with it. He never really had any accidents until that kidney stone stuff. All right. I'm here. All full up. Can't carry any more. So that's how I knew, you know, like, oh man, there must be something seriously wrong with him if he's doing something he ain't never done before. <laughs> Lara, you did it. The shield of the age maker. It's what's wrong? It's the ritual. Sacrifice the weaving. No, not weaving. Destiny and sacrifice. It can also mean creation. The traditional interpretation is we all create destiny. It's just as I thought. Look, the symbol here, ancestors. But couldn't that also mean imposters? Oh, sorry, kitty. Yes. That's what Amaru wants. Proof that anyone can create destiny. Not only the descendants of the first emperor. You're right. No one can ever see this. This truth would shake Unuratu's faith. It will jeopardize the entire rebellion. That would only embolden Amaru's belief that he is the one destined to remake the world. Lara, we have to destroy it. There must be another way. But the truth wouldn't stay hidden forever. I think you're right. Together then. As sisters. Yeah. Together. Despite this outcome, you showed great courage retrieving the shield. This bow was given to me when I joined the Shorn Ones. Never take a step backwards in battle. That is the single oath we take. You did not take a step backwards in battle today, Lara. You have the heart of a Shorn One. And I would be honored if you would keep the bow. You looking at me, Kitty? Koryanka. This is... The honor is all mine. Thank you. Is that the shield? I don't even want to know why you're burning that. I'm just glad you made it back. Again. What did we just get? Was it this one? No. Eternal Sentinel. Oh, so this is the one we just got. So draw speed goes up, but a lot of stuff goes down. What does it look like? Look cool. I mean, this one's literally better than that bow. Everything's better. Or the eagle. I like this one's the best one. I mean, if you look, like, the fire is perfect. The only thing that damages a little less than some of them, but <coughs> oh, 
Okay, so for the way it works here is we have an order that gets stuff I want to me and the expensive gear to get her vaccinated healthy that they found the pair of them. That's cool. That's really good. Bats are expensive, honestly. I know that's kind of like the sad thing around here. A lot of times it's like the vets are so expensive you can't even like afford to take them. No matter how much you'd want to, you know? Kind of say it. And a lot of times, too, with animals, you don't even know when they're seriously sick, too. That sucks, too. I never remember what we get, honestly. I know we got something from her, I'm just not sure what. This? Modern garlic is a dip. Right, key, key, key. Sometimes we don't know what's wrong with you. Oh, we already talked to this guy, so why is it showing it again? Or is this another one? Hello. I told you that is not a toy. What is it? That's my new trophy. It was Amaru's most treasured possession. He wore it on a string around his neck, close to his heart. But you found a way to steal it. I had to. Do you know what it is? It's a cipher wheel. A coded message. Yes. And if Amaru goes to the trouble of putting a message in code, we have to know what that message is. Let me try. Maybe the code leads to the place of a flooded underworld. In the Mayan Cross, water comes from the south, and south is associated with... See ya, Eevee. Yellow. Thanks for hanging out. It was a lot of fun. Road, Have a great day. Mountain, Have a great night. Thanks That's for hanging out. Promising. Lining up the symbols has given me a possible location. Do these mean anything to you? Mountain Road, Sky Road, East Mountain... Yes! Amaru and his family lived near the base of the eastern mountain while he was growing up. So he would know the area very well, making it the perfect place for him to hide something important. I'll let you know what I find. I'm looking forward to it. We got a lot of side quests going. The symbol in the center reads Place of the Flooded Underworld. And with the symbol for Pyramid in the uppermost position, the exposed symbols are clockwise from the top. New, he who writes, fire, road.
What does this guy have to say? With yellow in the south, exposed symbols are. I hope they can be saved. Or this quest. I'm gonna find the exit of this place, it's kind of weird too. I think it's over here, right? I don't have enough space for that. I need to go sell some stuff. I wonder if this uh, lady over here selling stuff is still over here, or if she moved to somewhere else. Hopefully, she ain't moved. I'm guessing she has, though. She was like up here. Was in this area, maybe it was farther up. I right hear. Oh, she's not here now. I think that's where she was at before. So if she ain't there, maybe she's at the other one. Kind of wish we could bought everything there from her already. I've only seen her in this place here and the other place over there. This lady's at. I know she was like right in here somewhere. Kind of confused if I'm coming from this direction, but. I guess I would sell stuff here just in case she's not there. Oh, kitty. You're making my leg fall asleep. <sighs> ah, making my leg fall asleep. Key, key, key. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. Oh. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both.
You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I'm always ready to trade. I think we bought everything we can from both these guys. What? Hello there. See anything that you like? Yeah, I think we got everything. We have that one lady, wherever the hell she's at, which I think. I don't know. Where the hell she's at? I think she was. We can find her. I think we only got like one or two items left with her, and then we're done. village is so big. Kind of hard to find stuff in it. Because I think, like, if I'm not mistaken, it was, like, right in that area, so I... <laughs> kind of wish they just mark it on your map. It's kind of annoying. So I try to buy as much from her as I could. Not see me beg. You're wasting your time. I'll never tell you anything. I'm not here to interrogate you. I'm here to free you. Bribery? Life as a traitor will be worse than death. I'm sure it would, but I'm a friend. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. You and your friends are safe. No. The cult was expecting us. A spy has infiltrated the rebellion. It is annoying as that lady moves. The the the, the shop owner lady. Cause she she so there's a third place she can be because she's not here, and the other place she wasn't there. So <laughs> on that. <laughs> alive as are you <laughs> a mortal and an immortal there you're free to go yes I have been liberated There's a lot of quests, which we didn't mark all of them. There was a people up here, I think they was given a quest, but we didn't talk to them. I well, was by that one guy, but I don't see him now. So easy to get backtracked here. Gowards, all of us. This is what we deserve for failing so miserably. Don't be so rough on yourself. You'll live to fight another day. We didn't fight. We gave up and were surrounded. Marched off to die without a single drop of blood on the ground. But why would you do that, though? Save him, and then we pushed him. So there was quests here, but I don't see them now.
This warrior was like a quest right here. By this guy. That's like they're all gone. Excuse me. Yes? I was wondering, have you lived around here for long? All my life, which makes for a very, very long time. <laughs> then you must have known Amaru when he was younger. Did I know Amaru? <laughs> yes, I certainly did. And that brother of his, too. Amaru was the older one, the quieter, more studious. Both boys had a passion for the unknown, for discovering the world around them. But where Sairi was the explorer, the adventurer, Amaru was the scholar. Together, they were a magnificent team, each one pushing the other to great heights. So they were close. <laughs> Inseparable. All brothers fight from time to time. But these two, they'd settle their disagreements in a matter of minutes, and their bond would be even stronger for it. And as for anyone else? <laughs> Nobody was allowed to get close. It was a game to them, keeping secrets only they knew. They had a secret hideaway, a private code, everything. A hideaway? Yes. They got there by climbing. Sorry, it's been ages. Uh, what did they call it? The Sky Road? That's it. That's it. The road to the sky. <laughs> I'd like to follow that road. Do you have any guesses as to where it might be? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but you're at the base of a mountain. Better start climbing. How do we end up in water? Those were piranhas for a second. I was like, oh no! <laughs> They switched my gun on me, I wonder why. Ding 
That wasn't a campfire, right? Good stop by. Should be getting to a campsite soon, right? I think it's kind of better to get caught in a lot of these areas just because you get more experience and stuff. Because more people spawn in. <laughs> more experience, more items and stuff. Kind of works out. A lot of times I don't mind getting caught because it's like, well, it's kind of fun to sneak, but it is. You get more stuff for healing than you do sneak by everybody.
Oh, flipping A won't let me jump there. Oh, rip. Get up, kitty. Sorry, break my legs and butt. Fall asleep. <laughs> Can't imagine people that have like huge cats. Trying to sit on them. No wonder Amaru had it so well guarded. This is Sairi's tomb. There's an inscription in Latin. I will never hesitate again. I wonder what that means. <sighs> There's also a key. All right, let's try red in the north. Dancing tree water nine. It also means many. Hmm. Dancing water near many trees. I think I know what fits that description. You have to make sure to grab everything because it does teleport you back to the beginning of the thing. This key was interred with Sairi's body, which means Amaru put it here. Was he trying to keep it preserved or keep it hidden? Hmm, probably both. There's a Mayan symbol on it, similar to the ones on the cipher wheel, representing North. Red in the North. I'll go quite here over to Apex for a little while. Quit here. I think we'll quit here. Oh, stop here. I'm gonna play Apex for a little bit. I think most of these. Challenger War. We got a lot of stuff left. My eyes hurt for some reason. Just randomly just sort of hurt. So I think we'll just quit here. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out on the playthrough of. Tomb Raider. We got quite a bit of side quests done. That's all we really done today. We ain't really done no main missions, but you know, it's been fun. Over and play a little bit of Apex. See how that goes.